Every sun-like star in the universe, including our own sun, was born with a companion star. That's the conclusion of astronomers Sarah Sadovoy at Harvard and Stephen Stahler at the University of California, Berkeley, who've just published their results. It's been known for a long time that many stars have companions. In fact, the nearest star system to the Sun, Alpha Centauri, contains three stars. Astronomers have also found that as they look at younger and younger stars, there tends to be a greater proportion of binaries. This new work by Sadovoy and Stahler focuses on a giant star-forming cloud 600 light-years away in the constellation Perseus. In 2020, astronomers completed a survey of this stellar nursery carried out using the very large array of radio telescopes in New Mexico. The survey included measurements of all the stars in the cloud that were less than 4 million years old, both single and multiple systems in which the separation of the stars was more than about the distance of Uranus from the Sun. Sadovoy and Stahler then ran a series of computer simulations to try to explain the Perseus observations. The only model that matched the VLA survey results was one in which all of the Sun-like stars started out as wide binaries. Wide in this case means a distance of more than 500 astronomical units or 75 billion kilometers. These systems then either shrink to form closer-knit pairs or they break apart within a million years or so. The new work suggests that shortly after it formed, the Sun had a sibling star that lay about 17 times further away than Neptune does today. This companion then escaped, but is still out there somewhere, wandering alone through the galaxy. More studies are needed to test these conclusions, and they may be coming soon. The upgraded VLA, the ALMA telescope in Chile, and the SCUBA-2 survey in Hawaii are all capable of providing the data we need to learn more about newly formed stars like the Sun.